Okay, now the second tutorial questions. As an ideal gas is compressed isothermally, the compressing agent does 36 joule of work. How much heat flows from the gas during the compressing process? Okay, so this, what kind of process is this? Uh, it is a uh, isothermal compression. Okay, uh, ice is uh, isothermal compression, right? Um, and then he say the compressing agent does thirty six joule of work. Okay, so who does who does the work? Who does the work? Not the gas, but somebody else. Okay, so that means you can say um, no uh, work, no work uh, from gas. Uh, no, no work from gas. So uh, this one work done is negative. Uh, so this one thirty six joule is a negative work done because um, work done on the gas. Okay, the compressing agent does thirty six joule of work on the gas. No work from gas. When gas, when gas does not do work, so work done negative. Okay. How much heat flows from the gas? So he asked for the Q, uh, heat flows from the gas during the compressing process. E, uh, um, even so, the, this is about compression. Compression means the volume decrease. Uh, volume decrease also means uh, work done negative. Okay? Uh, volume decrease, work done negative. Uh, so this is an isothermal compression. That means uh, isothermal. What does it mean by isothermal? Uh, same temperature, same temperature mean temperature constant. Uh, you want to find Q, isn't it? You want to find heat flow, so we use the first law of thermodynamic. Uh, Q equal to delta U plus W. Uh, first of all, let us talk about the change in internal energy. Uh, change in internal energy, we look at isothermal process. Isothermal process uh, is a constant temperature. Constant temperature that means uh, constant internal energy. Uh, internal energy is also constant because the temperature does not change internal energy also does not change so no change in internal energy constant internal energy so change of internal energy is zero because internal energy is constant no change in internal energy so change of internal energy is zero uh, so from here we can say easily says that change of internal energy is zero now uh work done is negative 36 joule. Why is it negative? Because of um, the compressing agent does 36 joule of work on the gas. So the gas does not do any work. When the gas no work, when the gas does not does not do any work, so work done is negative. Okay? When the gas does not do any work, does not do any work, uh, work done is negative. But work done on the gas. Huh? Somebody else uh, somebody else uh, compress the gas. Somebody else compress the gas. The gas cannot compress itself. Somebody else compress the gas. Somebody else uh, do the work on the gas. So work done is negative. Okay, negative thirty six joule. Okay, so let us substitute the work done. And what's the answer for Q? Uh, our delta U is delta U is already zero. So our work done is negative uh, negative negative 36 joule ah so you see uh, work done is negative 36 joule just substitute and we can see that uh what is it mean by negative q means heat loss uh, means this is heat heat release or heat loss to uh okay say so Loss heat loss to surrounding. Uh, heat is released to the surrounding. Okay, uh, that's it. Okay, heat is lost to the surrounding. That means work done on the gas. Uh, this this work done it does not store inside the gas as internal energy because internal energy remain constant. Uh, this energy gain has lost to surrounding in the form of heat. Okay, uh, heat loss. Okay, so that's it for question two. Thank you. So let's move on to question three.